This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, work with a spreadsheet in order to import your items into Shopify. Now this is uh, quickly what I want to show you is a couple different types of items. So let's just say that we have an item that only has uh, one variant. This is an item that is set up that way. It has one variant so you're going to have default title and title under option name. As you can see option name comes up here on the top and option one value. So I don't have these all expanded and this is when you export an item in Shopify it doesn't necessarily expand all the columns for you. I'll expand it really quick to show you. Uh, so let's just go through what these are. The product handle has to be unique and since the product handle is polo shirt here these are all part of one item. So all the way down this is all part of one item with multiple variants. So the variants are small green, small blue, large green, large blue, small red, and large red. So now let's explain uh, a few of these other columns right here. The title is basically the same as the handle without the variant, uh, without the dash. So uh, it's only required in the main record and this is actually the main product record. This is where the description and everything else, the vendor, uh, the item type goes, which is basically like the category. Uh, and then uh, this will tell you being published whether it's visible on the website or not. So when you put true, it's visible. Uh, the option name, if you have multiple variations, you can choose a custom name or you can do things like size and color. You can have up to three different option names unless you use a specific app for unlimited options. Also over here, you've got, um, you've got if you have a single option, it's always going to be uh, title and default title uh, if you don't have uh, multiple variations in the product. so. This particular item has a picture on every single image, and I'll show you where you put that in. It's all the way, not here, this is the variant image. This is your featured image and other shots of the product right here. All the way over to the end is where you're going to see these are your variant images. So if you want to assign an image to each item, this is where you do it, over here on the right. Not necessary if you only have a single item uh, right here. So those are mostly the fields that you have to uh, fill out. And then on each variant, you have to set the variant inventory policy. Uh, so that's done right here. You're tracking it in Shopify. That's going to be generally going to be the same uh, unless you're drop shipping, selling unlimited quantities, for instance. Then you can leave that blank. Uh, variant inventory, and like I said, if you're uh, selling unlimited quantities, you don't have to fill that out. Uh, variant inventory policy is denied. That means that you're going to um, stop selling if uh, you're out of stock. If not, it would be allowed. Uh, variant fulfillment services is going to be manual. That could also be a drop shipper like Amazon fulfillment. And then variant price, if you want to fill something out here, you can fill out compare. It's not necessary. Uh, I filled it out on this one so you can see how it comes up in a product and then the variant uh, requires shipping. Uh, that's going to be true unless you have a service, it would be false, and then variant taxable is going to be true unless it's say a service that's not taxable. And these, if you have multiple images of a product uh, that is under the featured image, uh, this is where they would go right here. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to copy this, uh, this is a red shirt or a shirt, I can't remember what color it is, but I'm going to copy that right here and show you if you have a single uh, single item but you have multiple images for that item you just have to copy the uh, items handle here so that uh, it will encompass this in the product information and that's all you need to do let's go ahead and import this and just show you quickly how this bulk imports items into Shopify. So let's go into here. This is the store we're going to import into. And uh, I've already downloaded these. They can be hosted. So you saw the hosted image file that I had that I was copying. Uh, they can be hosted right in Shopify. If you go to your Shopify, you can go to settings 
that'll take you here uh, and then under files you click here and you just upload the files and that gives you a publicly hosted uh, image and you can use this to copy and if you use something like uh, photo bucket you can copy that file into your spreadsheet uh, over there in both the variant images and the image SRC which is the image source for your product so let's go ahead and save this real quick this file has to be saved as a CSV and let's call this uh, bulk import Okay, and it's as you can see save as type is CSV comma delimited and that can be done in uh, Google Sheets and also in numbers and I'm using Excel so now we have that file let's go ahead and import that file so to import a file you're going to do it on the products page in Shopify on the left hand menu I'm on the products page and we're just going to choose a file uh, we don't have these in so go ahead and go to desktop is where I put that and I call it bulk import now what I'm going to do is go ahead and upload this file and it's going to show me a preview of the first item in my spreadsheet to make sure the format looks good to me it looks good I got my variant pricing uh, I didn't put any weights in uh, just to note that you should put the weight in grams and it will convert it to your default weight for your store. Uh, also, if you're doing banded shipping rates like uh, 495 um, from 0 to 10 pounds, you need to have weight in here. Or if you're using calculated shipping, you need to have weight. Uh, if you're doing free shipping or something like that, you don't need to have weight. Now, since there's only a couple products, this is going to upload very quickly otherwise I would have to wait um, and I would get an email if I was uploading hundreds or thousands of products it might take a little bit longer to upload definitely it will alright so let's go ahead and type in the items that I have in there so let's go ahead and look at that spreadsheet and the items that I put in were polo shirt and blue seahorse so let's go back to the products page and search these polo shirt first Okay, we've done the import now let's go ahead and check our items so the first one was the polo shirt and as you can see it's got all the variant images that's at the end of the file where it says variant image uh, and then it's got the featured images here uh, the difference between the featured image and the variant image this is the first image that comes up uh, in a preview of the item this is the image that comes up when you change uh, on the drop down on your variant. So let's go ahead and take a look at this item on the site, view web page. <clears throat> and you can see these are your featured images. Now, the first image that would come up would be your first featured image if you were on the products page. This is the first image that comes up when you're on the variants. And when you change these variants, this image changes. So, depending, okay, now I know I'm ordering red, I can click add to cart. This image will change also, but these featured images come up as alternate images of the item. And uh, when you're looking in a search for this item, the blue should come up first. <clears throat> so you see that's the featured image of the item. So when you click on that item, it comes up with the first variant. But if you're looking around on the website in a collection, the featured image is the item that's uh, the image that's going to come up first <clears throat> and you can change your variant images and put your blue variants first if you want that to also come up on this page you would just have your first variant be your blue instead of your green so now let's take a look at the other product which only had an additional featured image so let's and let's also look at the spreadsheet so here's the polo shirt these are the options these are the images right here that are your featured images and additional images. These images here, the variant images that match up to the small, medium green, uh, medium red, all your different variants. Um, now this image, this product over here only has uh, variant images and I just threw in a red shirt uh, as an as a additional featured image. 
on this item. It has no variant images. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like under Blue Seahorse. So if we go to Products, go to Blue Seahorse and click on that. And we'll see the additional image I threw in was there are no variant images here. The additional image I threw in as the second image was the shirt. So if we view that on the website, you'll see that it comes up with this as an additional image. So if you want to have multiple images of a product, you could have, say for instance, an image of the front of this blue seahorse and then an image of the back of it. <clears throat> but I just threw in an image so that you would understand how the images are done. So that's how you can do bulk imports with variants and with variant images uh, and also with uh, additional featured images or additional product images. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites. If you need help with a website, uh, check us out at pinehurstwebsites.com. Please like and share this video if it was helpful. Thank you.